Hi, hello friends. Welcome to English with Mr. Nambi. In this video, we are going to learn about Class 9th Unit 5 Supplementary Little Cyclone, the story of a grizzly cub written by William Temple Hornaday. The author William Temple Hornaday is an American author, zoologist, conservationist and a taxidermist. He is the pioneer of conservation movement and he has published many books and articles on wildlife. The characters in this short story includes Little Cyclone, a grizzly cub, Little Sour, an European brown bear, Black Bear cub and two captors were there. These were the major characters in the short story, Little Cyclone, the story of a grizzly cub. Come on friends, let's look into the summary of this particular supplementary. The author began the short story by stating that little kids loves to play with the teddy bear. They used to hug while sleep and they get warm from the teddy bear. The kids loves the dolls very much and they used to feed the dolls and they used to dress up the dolls. Usually kids cry when they were separated from their mothers and the mothers do not wish to separate the kids from them. When they were separated, both the mother and the child will be in sorrow. Now the author is questioning the readers have you ever thought of animals. How it used to feel when it was separated from its parents. Through this introduction, author started to describe about the story. The author then states that this particular short story is an interesting story about a young grizzly bear. The name of the young grizzly bear was Little Cyclone and it was from Alaska. Once the grizzly bear's mother was fired and it was died, Little Cyclone and his brother do not know that their mother was died. Without knowing that, they sleep along with the dead body of the mother for the whole night till morning. Little Cyclone's mother was fired in a timbered hillside place which is near the Chilkat River. Little cubs thought that their mother was asleep. They slept peacefully along with the warm body of the mother till the next morning. At that time, two captors occurs and tries to capture the little cubs. One cub escaped in the Chilkat place and the other cub, the little cyclone, was captured and tied up with a collar chain. The little cyclone was then taken to the Parcupine city. Then the little cyclone was rescued by a zoological society field agent. Cyclone was placed in a comfortable box and it was shipped to New York. Finally, it reached the Bears Nursery, a zoological park in New York. The zoological park contains a big yard and a tree to climb and swimming pool and there were dens and rock cliffs. The zoological park always have at least six cubs and sometimes it may have up to eight cubs. And it is the best place to check the courage of a new bear. The box in which little cyclone was placed was opened and the little cyclone walked with pride. And then cyclone introduced himself to others. Cyclone introduced us. It is a grizzly bear from Alaska. It come there to stay. And if they want anything else, they can come and take it from it. The little cyclone started to face the other bears boldly and courageously. Little saw an European bear blow on the cyclone's left ear and a black bear again hit the cyclone which is twice the size of cyclone. As a result, cyclone gives a counter attack and every other bear in the nursery started to frighten by looking into cyclone. Through this incident, the other bears understand that queer-looking grey bear with broad head and short nose could strike quick and hard. And little cyclone reached the higher position and every other bear in the nursery started to treat it with respect. Later on, the little cyclone never had a fight with other bears. Through this, the author ends the story. Thank you so much friends for watching.